and in route with just a few design elements in this case letters border and a profile I can create a nice design maybe something like this as I'm working on this design I often want to see what it's going to look like and this is where the rendering and simulation improvements in Route 6 will really shine the rendering has been improved in terms of quality and the lighting and the speed you notice that I can keep live rendering going the whole time I'm moving around the drawing so I really get a nice view of what the piece is going to look like now if I switch to the tool paths I can get into the simulation by choosing the resolution telling it I want to animate using the material color and in this case American Cherry I can choose from a number of different types of material that are available I can really get a nice idea of what the finished piece is going to look like so once the model has been created I can start the animation and I can control the speed of this with the arrow keys so I can speed it up and slow it down to really get a nice idea here I've got it slowed all the way down and I can get a sense of what I'm cutting and then I can very quickly speed that back up again to work through the simulation but here you get a really nice idea about the material that you're removing uh, the tooling marks that you might have all of the things that you typically look at a simulation for and now you can do it with the actual material that you might be cutting it out of the realism is really quite nice once it's done simulating you can see that it cuts all the way through the material so in this case my routing offset that I used to cut the piece out cuts all the way through the material and I can even look at the bottom of the material and get a really nice idea of what the finished piece might look like so simulation and rendering in route have received some nice improvements that add to the realism of what you can see when you're designing your piece